Hi everyone and welcome to Previously on the Screeview. We have the season one finale we're about to watch. I wore my best blanket. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a Sackville sweatshirt, which is a really chic weed products shop. They're a sponsor on the podcast. And I'm wearing... Hashtag free ad. Gnarly uh, girl sweatpants. Can you see? Oh, I think they're sold out. And what do you have in your hand? This oh. is an Olympiad medal. From the Olympics? Yes. Sunny one, silver. In 1984. Yeah. <laughs> in the waking his parents up in the middle of the night category. Yeah, I'm tired. Um, did we sell out all the merch? We sold out all this gnarly stuff. I think we still have maybe some bracelets and stickers and things like that. Go check them out. Merchdudes.com. Merchdudes.com. All right, ready? Ready. Let's go. At the beginning of summer, I thought I was in total control. I don't want there to be another girl. I don't really want that again. And boy, was I wrong. It's not like obvious that I don't want you hooking up with my friend. At least I wasn't Chloe. She started the summer thinking she had so many friends. Do you want to explain what's up with you talking to Brandon so much? But then Amanda put her in the hospital. Holy And Alex and Polly, they treated her even worse. We should do like a big dinner or something. A big dinner? Big dinner, that was a You <laughs> It was so bad, she was rethinking everything in her life. I can't do this anymore and pulling away from our group. As for Madison, she just acted like she had it all. I hope you can stick around here. It'd be nice to have you around again. It'll be a good summer. We'll make it good. But everyone knew Alex chose me over her. Why does he do this to me? He hasn't changed one bit. Sucks. So she moved on to Brandon. What do you think Alex will think, me taking you out on a date? <laughs> I don't know. But who knew if that would last? It seemed like nobody's relationship was safe with Alex hanging around. Look, I told you I'd take out my arms off my mouth. Kelsey got a taste of Alex's world. Woo! And Alex and I were finally done. You and I need to end what we are because I don't want to do that anymore. It was only a matter of time before Kelsey went after Alex, too. We're all going swimming later if you want to... Get to know you better. Seems like I just want to be around him, so... Well, I'm out. gonna go. <laughs> but I wasn't about to let Kelsey and Alex off that easy. They went upstairs and not to play checkers. And I didn't stop there. But just like everything about this summer, none of us knew how it was going to end. You're like two feet away from me, making out with Juliet. At least I was nice and I'm... You're so nice is not even f***ing funny. Yeah, I was nice. went to the club. Yeah. Sitting on a table, it was like Madison and I, and then Garrett and Juliet. Awkward. Yeah. They start making out two feet away from Whoa, me. Oh, no way. <laughs> Mom's like, I would watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's what you get. Seriously? Yeah. That's just rude. I know. I'm, mm. I gave him the chance to actually like apologize and maybe be civil or a little nice about it. Mm -hmm. He just like took a 180 and starts like putting it on me and everything and starts bringing up Alex and I and I just like at that point just broke down. Sorry. Everything you're telling me with all the tears this whole time, I just feel like that you still have feelings for him and you're still interested in him. You blew it. Especially when you find out how little Alex gives a shit. Also, they just broke up, so even if she doesn't really like him that much, she's still <clears throat> gonna get upset that they made out right in front of her. True. This song holds up. 
each time you listen to it. Yeah, and to all the other theme songs. Agreed? Or do you think it's worse? I mean, I think it's pretty great, but I think because the show wasn't as popular, it probably doesn't get as much credit as like a, the classic unwritten. I trust you. That's good. They're going on a boat date? So you excited for the fourth? I'm pretty excited. Ooh, the fourth. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's gonna be like the, the big hoorah before life gets real. Yeah. No, you'll still have the rest of July and all of August. Still waiting to hear back from school. I'll get in. Uh, I, I hope, I mean, <laughs> I'm starting to like, kind of low-key panic. What? Hold on. It ticks me off. Like, the manatees, if there's no mangroves, no beds, they, they won't be here. Really? Anymore. Is that where they live? They live up in the mangroves, yeah, and like, Aww. outside the channel. See, like, I've lived here my whole life, and I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, it's little things you, you learn as you go. Um, but it's, it's extremely, extremely important that we preserve what we have. I don't want to lose this place. No, no way. <laughs> I won't allow it, but. I won't allow it. I'll do my part. It's always awkward when yeah, someone just like repeats what you just said in a conversation. <laughs> You're like, all right, cool. What the f is happening here? Also, is like this and Alex like cares about the environment yeah. storyline they're introducing. <laughs> They're trying to make Alex seem like a little bit more multidimensional. My guess is there's going to be like a Save the Manatees party and this is a setup <laughs> for them. So the party, I'm trying to like figure out the guest list and who I should bring in. Yeah, am I invited? Of course you're <laughs> invited. Um, you're going to invite Kelsey? Yeah, I'll invite her. Yeah, um, what's going on with you guys? I don't know, it's just like she's awesome girl. He didn't even say like, he's like, she's awesome girl. <laughs> but we just man. don't have like anything in common. Really? Like, I can no. see that. For instance, this place, like we'll be together and she'll be like, oh, I want to go to New York or I want to go yeah. to LA. And I get it, you know, but for me, um, what if I'm going into a relationship, you always got to think like long term, like what if this actually does work out? Like yeah. it doesn't seem like she has any interest in staying local. And I, as a kid, I just enjoyed it so much here that this yeah. place is my backyard. I think maybe that's like what she doesn't get because like she didn't grow up here. And like we see like how childhood here is like the best thing ever. I and mean, like raising a family here is like ideal. But it's tough. I've been trying to find a job and so far not so good, so. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a little more difficult. I know, but I don't want to leave. Hopefully you don't have to. Anything else keeping you here, or wanting to stay here at least? You mean Brandon? <laughs> I don't know. You can't beat this place. Do you guys think that it yeah. looks like we're doing it out of spite, getting together? Um, yes, it does look that <laughs> way. She's saying that through a smile, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, so obvious. <laughs> Might have been why I started with him. <laughs> what? Really? Oh. Exactly. Yeah. Now I yeah. actually do exactly like him. But yeah, feelings change. Feelings so. change, yeah. Yeah. At least you guys are mature about it. Yeah. Yeah. I really do like think that, you know, he's a great guy and that I could definitely see myself like being with him, but so do you think he's like over her? I think that like she just hurt him too much. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he's over her just because he still sees her and like if he's not fully over Kelsey, you need to make sure you keep your guard up. You're right. Exactly. Uh, I was gonna say, do you think she's gonna say yeah or exactly? <laughs> yeah totally. or exactly. Oh totally? That's hard. Let's see. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> exactly. Are you ready? I'll be ready. Bridgerton did a classical version of this. It's so good. Oh, Paul. He just needs to talk to Chloe. Hey, oh my lord, dog. 
a moment of silence for the outfit. <laughs> They're like jeans with knee pads in them, like torn up knee pads. And then he's wearing dress up shoes with a muscle tee. Mm. Oh, mm. Polly. Polly. Shoes a vibe. I just wanted to stop by and thank you for your support last night. What's the next night? It was a monstrosity of a performance, so. Montrosity? Is that a word? No! <laughs> monstrosity <laughs> is a word. I was like, that sounds like a word. Kind of had to step back and, you know, reflect on myself. <laughs> so I know I've apologized before in the past, but my behavior was totally out of line this summer and in Bimini, and I have to sincerely apologize. She can't take the high road. Well. I honestly don't know what to say because I've gotten to the point where it's honestly... Stop saying honestly. Every single day, I look for new ways to try to better myself. What, what, what are you doing every day? You think going out and drinking and doing drugs is bettering yourself, Paul? I mean, come on. And that's something that I've had to reflect on. I mean, you know, I, I... understand that I have a problem, but... <sighs> Quite frankly, part of working on myself is removing toxic people from my life. And honestly, that's all you've been to me this summer. It's just time and time again, every time you're around me, I'm put in a toxic situation and I'm just... Chloe, read the situation. Yeah. He just needs you to be like, okay, you don't need to be best friends with him, but you don't need to lecture him now. Right. He's literally spiraling. Just say good luck, Paul, mm -hmm. and then remove him if you want, but mm -hmm. stop. Mm -hmm. Saying honestly. <laughs> Not every day does somebody deal with losing their mother and father a year apart when they're 20 years old. I live life in a reality where I never lost my parents. I just pretend like it never happened and they don't exist. So I compensate with drinking and drugs to kind of take me out of the reality that I really do live in. I'm trying to numb the pain. And when I drink too much alcohol, I say things that hurt the people that care about me. And if you took a step back and maybe tried to think about what I've been through and maybe how it's affecting me, then maybe you might understand me more. Listen, Paul, I could not imagine the pain that you go through, you know, losing both of your parents. I mean, losing my grandma was devastating to me. But at the end of the day, like, covering up that pain with drugs and alcohol is not the way to deal with your issues. And at some point, like, you have to face reality and deal with those issues in another way. Like, maybe going to rehab you gotta be is kidding. what's best for you. Are you serious right now? At some point, you need to face reality before you lose everyone you care about. This is what I get. I apologize. And this is what I get but are you gonna accept my apology or not? I'm telling you no. that if I see a change and I see you doing things to learn how to cope with, you know, this loss of your mom and dad, I mean, we'll see. Thanks for stopping by. We are proud nice outfit. They don't want to be so. Polly's apology seemed sincere. She's like, thanks for stopping by. What are you wearing? <laughs> tonight. Yeah, what are you getting into? Um, Dad asked me to go to dinner. You guys a little date night? Date night. Gotta do that. Gotta do that or he won't give me my allowance. <laughs> yeah, I actually uh, took Kelsey out the other day at White Buffalo and... That's right, how did that go? I forgot to ask how uh, did it go? Yeah, it, it went great, I mean... That's perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh, because I was wondering. I just hadn't bumped into you, so... So how is it with her? What do you think? I, I enjoy being around her. I just, it's not like it's the dating connection is just, I don't see that happening. I'd rather just be friends with her. Yeah. Ooh. Not sure if she's what I'm looking for. She moved to Siesta Key. I broke her up with her boyfriend and now I'm going to dump her. And she has, and everyone hates her now. So my, my work here is done. So what, what about um, Madison? That's funny you say that because um, I don't know. I feel like just hanging out with Madison, like she's just like a good person. I keep seeing that more and more. Not like the other ones aren't. It's just yeah. if I was gonna be serious with anyone, it would 
It would totally be Madison. You, you know how I feel about her. You do connect. When I see you guys together, I don't know. You're like how I saw you when y'all were 16. You both just like light up. Unfortunately, her and Brandon are dating. And it's just kind of like, I don't know if it was like an eye opener or what it was, but it kind of just, I don't know. Madison just being in the back of my mind the entire time. Time goes by so fast, it really does. And uh -huh. she could go back to school or, you know, move to New York, whatever, you know, and you just never know. So she's a great girl, and I just wouldn't let her get away if you think there might be something there. I would really talk to her. I think it would be a good thing. Mom's basically saying, F Brandon. Go for it. <laughs> All right, you ready to see my 50 bathing suits? You know what swimsuit you're wearing? No, but I have plenty to what choose from. What about that red one? Bring them out. I mean, I wore that last fourth, but I can't repeat. Come on, Chloe, you know this. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I like this one. I love this one, too. But I like this more. Maybe I'll buy a new one. Do you want to see mine? Yeah. You're going to die. Oh, no. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. It's very patriotic. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I tried it on at the store and everything, and it completely covers it does, my okay. nipples, so who cares? It's cute. I like it. <laughs> I'm so excited. That looks like something Polly might wear. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think things are gonna be like weird between like you, um, Garrett, Kelsey, That's what I've been thinking Alex. about like the whole last few days. Yeah, like, I hope everybody can just get along. I think the right. only thing that may be, like, kind of weird will be, like, honestly, Alex and I aren't as close as we used to be anymore. But that doesn't mean, like, I don't want to have fun today and, like, be with everybody. Right. We all kind of go our separate ways in a few weeks. It's like, like the producers definitely made them like paint these accent walls on the on their bedrooms, don't you think? I remember when they made me do that in, in the city apartment. Like Kelsey has a pale yellow mm -hmm. and Juliet has this green and Chelsea or what's her name? Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> Chloe has like a burgundy, like Yeah, it's a good call. Kinda want this to be like the last hurrah. Yeah. I'm so excited. Why is, is it the it last hurrah hurrah? or hoorah? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Mic drop. Pound it. Uh, psh. Jelly. Jellyfish. Cute, guys. This one's for the winners. The Who's it getting ready? Madison. He always has too clean of a shave. Who's doing laps before the party? Serious. Jello shot. Oh, I was thinking we should make this. Oh my gosh. Look at you guys. Looking good. How cute. Wow. Happy Hi, Dave. Right? Happy 4th, bro. Jumping Jiminy Crickets. Happy 4th of July. What about Polly's court date yesterday? How did that go? Oh. We need an update. How you doing? I'm ready to turn this party up. Let's turn it up, man. Yeah, hey, all six of us. Like no, 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 no. You gotta Take like your do finger, a swirl. Just go right around the whole thing. Oh man, flavor blaster. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Better late than never. Judy and Alyssa. How are you? Is this fashion Yeah. July spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Go America. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Don't say anything. Everything good? Yeah, I just like kind of wanted to tell you what's going on because I'm pretty sure Garrett's coming today. You know, don't want you to be blindsided or anything. I mean, in all honesty, like, yes, it's going to suck. Like, my heart, like, the second I see him, I know it's just gonna sink. Like, I don't even wanna think about it, but 
So, Juliet, are you bringing anybody over? I invited Garrett. Garrett, okay. Yeah, and I think he's bringing some friends over. Okay, I expect him to be, be here. Weird? I think it's gonna be weird because <laughs> how how could it not be? Do you guys think you're even gonna talk when he gets here, or you don't even know? I mean, knowing him and I, I feel like it'd be really weird not to like at least talk. Oh my God, look at how many people are out in front of his house. <laughs> A very public beach. There's eight rows of people. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, hey, you're here. Oh my God. Colin and new friend. Oh no, workout buddy. The last party that um, Alex threw at his house was massive. So big people had to wear like wristbands. But now there's just eight people. This is not a hoorah. Yeah, this is not the last hoorah <laughs> at all. How you doing? Colin, nice to meet Colin. you. Oh, boy. you He's taken, ladies. Nice to meet you. She's out. She's out. Yeah. Kelsey thought she would always have Garrett wrapped around her finger but we were all learning hard lessons this summer. Ooh, cool. We've already I seen that. I want to learn cool tricks. I have to get in the pool first. <laughs> oh, Keepy man. uppy. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa, abs. Hey, where's Amanda? Happy fourth. Happy fourth. Oh. Yeah. How have Whatever you been? Whatever it may be. It's good. Just doing my thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How's that going? It sucks. It's yeah. hard because like everyone's like in summer mode, and then I'm over here like I'm gonna figure out whether I'm gonna model or go to college. I'm still still deciding. Yeah. yeah. That's I'm gonna good. Figure though. that out real soon. Everyone's watching. <laughs> I mean, my website launches like this week. Am I on it? You are actually, I think. Is Julia on it? Well, I did a video with her, so. Yeah, I heard. I mean, it benefits me, you know, so. Obviously, like, you kind of aren't with me anymore, so. Yeah, absolutely not. Absolutely it's not, like, right? <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I just mean, like, at this point, like, you can do what you want. Yeah. I'm just saying. You know what? Ugh. I would like to enjoy a holiday and like, let's enjoy it and then give it more time and then talk later. Yeah, sounds good. Today. Sick plan. Jello shots? Rose colored shades got me living in a prison. What's that? 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 You guys, ugh, they need to reapply. Sunscreen. Yeah. And lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda's here. Woo! Amanda, it's good to see you. It's, it's good to see you too, baby. It was hot already when you walked in, but now that you're here, it's hot as a tamale. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, oh, I'm loving it. It's way better than Chloe's one piece, I'll tell you. <laughs> Oh, say can you see? Chloe's in a one piece. <laughs> Shut up. I'll tell you one thing. Chloe's strolling like a beach whale. No! Oh, you kidding me? Chloe, it's disgusting. Polly, I can't defend you anymore. Whatever. Holly's behavior was disgusting, and he was pushing Chloe further and further away. Paula, you idiot. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> Cornhole's fun. He loves to BBQ. He loves saving the mangroves. What can Alex not do? He's great. You're right. You loved him from the beginning, and you were right. Do you know where Chloe went? No, I'm just confused on why she randomly left her. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, me too. She's not the brightest bulb in the bathroom, I'll tell you that right now. 
Is that a saying? Bread is bulb in the bunch. Why would you leave a party? Wouldn't you stay and like have it? You guys know what it's about. It's like Polly starts talking for no reason. Yeah, yeah not with the bad jokes. Yeah. What do you think? Kelsey? No, I don't like that. She's obviously <laughs> trying to make a statement. In Chloe's defense, she is going to therapy, and I know she's trying to like separate from the group. If that's what she feels like she needs to do, then all power to her, you know? Yeah, you're right. You're right, Alex. I mean, Alex, I mean, did you ever think about the fact maybe that she left because she was wearing the Star Spangled Banner as a bathing suit? It was bigger than the flag I used to pledge allegiance to in kindergarten every morning. So gross. Can we not do that? What? Yeah. No, I'm sick of your uh. He's like, what? He doesn't, he, what? He's weird. Yeah, how many times does someone have to tell him yeah. not to do that? Like, how old are you? To the beach. This is your first yes ski 4th of July. What your underwear is hanging out, dude. Oh, no, that's weird. <laughs> Am I supposed to put this? Um, oh. I mean, you're a, you're a really great person. I mean, I respect you yeah. more than you even believe. And uh, I do like the friendship that we have. Yeah. It seems like you're having fun. So. Yeah, absolutely. And I can tell that you're, you're not ready to, like, get another boyfriend. No, 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 no. I know that you're about to dump me, so I'm going to get on your page real quick. Okay, I'm not. Like, neither one of us are looking for a relationship. We're just trying to, like, have fun, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah. But, like, but not for you. I'm not, like, trying to, like, date you. Yeah, I'm not either. Cool, well, I think we're better off just being friends for now. Oh, oof, oof, oof. It's like, now I gotta go break up Brandon and Madison here. <laughs> Hurricane Alex. Sweeping through. Whitney is even more in love now. So hard to get. Kelsey and Alex sacrificed everything for a summer fling. And now that it was over, they were both going to suffer the consequences. Jail. Jail time. These two have not said one word. The sunset's always beautiful. It's like orange or pink or like it's probably gonna go down in the next like five minutes that's like, unreal i can't tell if that's lightning or fireworks like in the distance it's can you see that no i don't think the fireworks are going off yet no they're all right look are they, are they, they are they? yeah well, that means that it's about that time what time firework time This was a bad day for Kelsey. Mm -hmm. What a summer this has been. It's craziest summer so far. It's honestly the it's been best great. summer ever. I like when they're really close to the ground. Mm -hmm. I like the Weeping Willow one. Oh, trash. Got another. <laughs> Alex, the environmentalist. <laughs> trash on the oh, there's something. Mm. His nice. leg. See anything else? I think we cleaned the whole beach, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Try to give back when you can. Everyone talks about love, but I was just filled down. So much trash. I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks for helping. Of course. What do you got going on later? Paint out Brandon? Yeah. You and Brandon, like, now are official? Like, yeah. what's up with that? Yeah, I guess we kind of defined the relationship. That's, yeah. that's cool. It's exciting. How are you and Kelsey? You guys still? I don't know. I just, for me personally, I just 
I think we're, we're better off just being friends for now. I don't okay. see like a future with her or anything. And I don't know, just, how am I supposed to put this? Um, what? I don't know, I just, a lot's like going through my mind. You know, going to law school. And then obviously after that comes like, you know, marriage and kids and <laughs> whatnot. And Adulthood? Yeah, just like time to grow up. And when it comes down to like a girl that I'd like to spend the rest of my life with, it'd be one that gets along with my family. Mm -hmm. Is he proposing? <laughs> <laughs> How old are these people? 22? He's yeah. like, it's, it's time for me to yeah. think about yeah, it's time. settling down. <laughs> Someone that you could look at and tell they'd be a good mom, obviously, and you seem to, like, hit all the categories that I'm looking for. Well. <laughs> um. This is, might be hard for me to do, but, okay. Um. Will you marry me? Is this real? Could you ever see us possibly being something? Well, um. Because having you back around, like, hanging out with you, like putting together like parties and just, I don't know, I just feel like me and you get along really well. I mean, this, this is crazy. It just, I feel like I've held out hope for like us to work out for so long and I was so ready for that and you clearly weren't. And it's crazy hearing you say that now. I just, I wonder if you are only feeling that way because it didn't work out with you and Kelsey and it is going well with me and Brandon. That's not true. Pretty accurate. Wow, yeah, that sounds pretty true. I, I don't know if I could get back to that place because it was, it was tough to move on. No, I hear you. I just <laughs> He's like, get out, get out of my house, get out of my house. I think it's sincere, but it'd be like another eight years of like I mean, turmoil. I'd hope not. I mean, I know this might come off weird, but yes. I'd like to like spend the rest of my life with you. Like, it's just like a. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> he is proposing. He is. He's really going for it for the one A finale. Yeah. Like, it's just like a huge transformation for me. Alex. Alex, don't be an idiot. Yeah, come on. Do you man. feel like you are? really ready for that. Come on, get over here. We're best I friends. Just, we didn't work out for a reason. I don't know, I obviously was young and dumb. And now I'm older. I feel like I'm definitely a lot more mature. If anything, you've been worse this summer. That's not true. That is. No, oh, Alex. Maybe like after school or? I'm saying no. Why? Because I haven't learned yet. Jeez, it's been eight years. Yeah, enough, dude. The answer's no, bro. Yeah. She had to say no twice. Madison finally saw Alex for what he was and realized she deserved better. Mm-hmm. Like Brandon. Just like, we don't need their head. Cut away before you get to their head. <laughs> Hi. I know you don't like me. Whatever. <laughs> exactly. You okay? Yeah, I'm doing all right. What's wrong? Coping with the whole Kelsey thing. The day, is this July 5th? Think so. Okay. I feel bad. So what, she can hurt people, but when it hurts her, she's gonna go and get mad at other people? What comes follow. around goes around. I know that's yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, Garrett, you're a good guy, and you don't deserve to have someone lie to you like she has. Exactly. So you don't really owe her anything. Like, she's with Alex now, and now she's realizing what she had. She regrets leaving you. And it's sick, because I'm here to remind her that she doesn't have you by kissing you in front of her. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't, per I personally don't like you. 
Um, but I'm gonna pretend to to make her feel bad. Yeah. You're really nice and you're really sweet and you're honest. I mean, I like you. No, you don't. No. It's just the truth. No, that's a lie. Julia looks so pretty more natural like this. I mean, she's still wearing like a ton of eyeliner and fake lashes, but. I love hanging out with you. Yeah. Like, it's always a good time. Like we have a lot in common with like the whole fitness thing. So that's fun. You guys should get married. Literally, you both like going to the gym, get married. Time and space, especially like coming out of the relationship with Kelsey, you know? I feel you. I think you and I need to stop worrying about other people. Mm -hmm. Focus on us. They should kiss. Even though he can't string two words together, like he knows what's going on, mm -hmm. and he's like, uh, 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 I want oh. someone who like likes me. She should break up with Brandon. Something I just did was I made a um a playlist for you, like a little mix on Spotify. It has the favorite songs that make me think of you and I hear them. It's called Madison's Mix. <laughs> it's a crazy original mix. Can we listen? Absolutely. I love a mix. You have sand in your mouth? Yeah. Well, now would probably be the time to get that out <laughs> because you don't want any sand in your mouth. While you're listening to music? Sean Mendez. She's getting that sand out of her mouth. To hear more from Brandon's mix, check out his playlist on Spotify. I will definitely be doing that, Brandon. <laughs> I hate it. I, was, I mean, I'm just like... <laughs> no, but I love it at I the mean, same time. That's great. It's a really nice quality. It's like you're paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Poor Brandon. You have something on your mind? What's up? Alex asked me to marry him. Yeah. <laughs> I hung out with Alex. Um, he said... But he mentioned that... Um, Alex, what did he say? What's up? Like, he wanted a future with me, like, down the line. Yeah. Alex said that? Yeah. After I've been talking to you for... Yeah, like, I was what? totally, it was totally out of nowhere. And it was, it's just been... That's confusing. I've been thinking about it. Yeah, it's... And I just want to keep you in the loop, though. Like, I don't want... Like in case it came up later or anything. I appreciate that, but how do you feel about that? Yeah, what did you I need? I feel really good about us. He's like, all right, sick. Well, you want to hear song number two on the mix? <laughs> I want you in my future. Okay. Well, I want to be in your future. Yeah. You got to go fight Alex now. He looks like he's about to cry. For Madison and Brandon. Or he's stoned. <laughs> as far as the summer went, they were the only two who found real love. Is it real? He needs to have a talk with Alex. Big time. I got the devil hanging on my back tonight. I try to shake him off, but he comes back to life. Not. That's an that. East Coast cloud right there. I was about to say, look at that cloud. Thank you for meeting me. You're welcome. I don't really know what to say about anything right now after the other night. I, that's why I wanted to bring you here because after what I've done and what you've done, like... It's hard, like, I think I hurt you so bad. But I wanted to talk to you and tell you what did happen between Alex and I, but, like, I didn't get that chance. 
I know you would have been mad, fault. but I'd rather you've heard it from me than Juliet, and I don't think that was Juliet's place. As me, as like a guy that loved you, that didn't want to like end things and wanted to be with you. But you think it was easy really... for me to end things? Uh, well, I mean, it, you made it seem that way. Like, it seemed like you were so happy, like you're hanging out with Alex. I would see posts, but at the same time, I still love you, and I always will. I still love you, too. You know that. Everything that has gone on this summer has just like backfired to both of us. But she didn't come clean. I just don't know like where we go from here. Yeah. What? You stay in my head. Can you guys Is say it something? Or it's for us to give it another shot. Whoa, Garrett. She immediately doesn't like him again. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, that's all she wanted him to say coming in. And then as soon as she said it, she was like, I wonder what um, Alex is doing. <laughs> Well, you can't end the scene on that. What did she say? Oh my God, I don't care about Chloe and Polly except that I love Polly. Mm. Chloe with a heart. I have you as Timmy with a heart. Mm. We have a very different relationship. <laughs> no, no, I choose me. <laughs> Julia? It's been a while, so stick around, why don't you? Until the end of Why does she have so much eye makeup on? I feel like she was trying to take a page out of Lauren's book with that like black liner and the mascara. Oh, I'd like to see, wow, her house on the estuary. It's nice. Nice we are. You're alone. You should be hanging out with Polly. Probably hooked up with Amanda that night. We could be stars, piercing lights in the dark, make a galaxy ours, kingdom right where we are, shining bright as. God, and what is this, like, like a music video? I know, it's like an 80s music video. We could be stars, or we could so be pretty. stars. Well, two months later, we got a pickup, guys. <laughs> hey, Mr. Big Shot. She got a haircut. Student. What do you do? Better. Oh, you got a mail or say something. Oh, oh. Okay. She hammered. Oh, something bad. Oh my god, Alex. What happened? Oh. So much physical violence. Physical violence <laughs> equals season two. Here's a little lesson for all you want to be producers out there. Physical <laughs> violence equals rating. <laughs> Sad but true. You guys, Crazy. we just did Siesta Key, season one. A. A. Let me tell you what season one A means, or I guess what season one B means. It means they just extended season one so they don't have to pay everyone. If you get a season two, everyone gets a raise, but no, no, no. MTV boss daddy said, no, no, no. No, no, no. I had a great time. I want to know what happened to Alex's face. I will be tuning in to watch season two. Do you want to watch season two? I definitely do. I want to do it on Monday morning. Oh.